Alright folks, so here is the head of the cold steel Viking hand axe. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cold blue it using this Birchwood Casey Perma Blue. Uh, we're going to apply that with some of these, I think they're called daubers or something like that. Anyhow, I'm not wearing any gloves, uh, you know, because I live life in the fast lane. So let's go ahead and get started. Now once you get this solution on, you want to let it sit for a few minutes and then you want to get it in cold water and that will stop the reaction. Now some people are claiming, and it looks like that might be the case, that this axe head has been coated, I'm sure the grind hasn't so we'll be able to see that, with some sort of clear coat. And uh, that appears to be the case because typically that would be staining blue relatively quick. Now I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to get this <laughs> clear coat off of here, but this throws a little bit of a wrench in the plan. I could probably use some sort of conventional stripper, or I could sand it off. So uh, let me go back to the drawing board and figure out what I'm going to do here, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Alright folks, we're back. We're going to use this uh, mouse sander polisher, and we're going to sand the shit out of this blade. I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, we're back, and uh, we did some sanding on that, and hopefully it'll work now. And uh, the best news is that we were able to get the Taiwan stamp off of the uh, axe head. So let's go ahead, let's get dipping in this Birchwood Casey Perma Blue, and see what we can do. So you can see that it's uh, starting to uh, change the color. Now it looks like some of that clear coat or whatever they put on there, Got down into the pores, and I didn't I didn't sand down past that because I wanted it to have a rough look. So uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll leave this on here longer than we originally planned to, and see if that uh, makes a difference or not. But it does look like we're getting some oxidation, which is good news. We'll let that sit for a little while, we'll flip it over and we'll come back. Alright, we're back. We got this slipped over, so we're going to do this side. Let's get a little more. A little more blue in on there. And, uh, it looks like I did not get all that clear coat off that I wanted but uh, we're going to let this sit for a little while and see how it turns out. It looks like it's oxidizing pretty good in a couple places and that's what we want, kind of like a rough antique look so uh, we'll come back a little bit later. Alright folks, well this is where we ended up. I put the um, head of this Viking Axe on my old cold steel pipe hawk, tomahawk uh, handle but uh, if you take a look the bluing worked pretty well and it oxidized pretty well. Um, like we said earlier, I think that some of the pits on here still had some of the uh, clear coat in there, but I actually think it made a neat uh, kind of interesting texture. And uh, you know, the real reason that you put a, a oxidation on something like this is because it looks cool. It makes good pictures for Instagram. But the second reason is is that it helps prevent rust in the future. And I think that by some of the clear coat staying in the pits, um, that probably is going to help out with uh, with that particular problem or issue. So, anyhow, that's it. Thanks, everybody.